Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back. And God bless all of you who have found this video. So I know some of you have been getting frustrated with what I'm teaching here. It might be causing more confusion than edification. I can't convince anyone, none of us can convince anyone to believe because faith is a gift. It's not of ourselves. We have to be granted to come to him. Jesus told us that. It has to be granted by the Father. So if you're not understanding what I'm showing here, then you need to keep reading and seeking. And you need to do it with your whole heart. Not with your lips, but with your heart and your soul and your mind and all your strength. That's the only way you're going to see what I'm showing you here. But I want to give you a glimpse of what I'm working on. In the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he is about to sound, then the mystery of God is finished as he preached to his pro servants, the prophets. This mystery is in here. This mystery of God. He preached it to the prophets who wrote these pages. That is the mystery which has been hidden from the past ages and generations but now has been manifested to his saints to whom God willed to make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. This mystery, which has been hidden from past ages and generations, but now has been manifested to his saints who wrote these pages. And he says, we proclaim him admonishing every man and teaching every man with all wisdom that we may present every man complete in Christ. And for this purpose, I also labor, he said, striving according to his power, which mightily works within me as it worked within Christ Jesus. We proclaim him admonishing every man and teaching every man, admonishing We speak a wisdom among those who are mature, a wisdom, however, not of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. But we speak God's wisdom in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God predestined before the ages to our glory. And he says here, just as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before him in love. He predestined us to adoption as sons through Jesus Christ to himself. Through Jesus Christ. He was in Christ Jesus as he was also in Paul and Peter. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because he has a God and a Father. This mystery is great. And these men have testified or witnessed concerning it. And I'll show you how to dig it out of the scriptures. It's testifying of him. As Jesus said, you search the scriptures because in them you think you have eternal life. And it is these that testify of me. All the prophets testified of him. Again, as he told Moses, if you believe Moses, you'd have believed me. But if you don't believe Moses' writings, how will you believe my words? He wrote of me. These individuals are predestined and foreknown, chosen before the foundation of the world. As he also told Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. I predestined you to be a prophet to the nation. Just as Jesus, who was a prophet like Moses, was foreknown before the foundation of the world, but has appeared in these times for our sakes, who through Jesus we believe in God, who sent him. This is the mystery, folks. And I really hope you follow along.